my name is Nancy Keshiro. I am the founder of NK Arts and I'm the curator for the show today. I'm Jekane Lato Una. I'm a multidisciplinary artist, but I am most famous for my jigsaw pattern like paintings, which you can see here. Um, today is my exhibition, uh, it's a group show with NK Art Space, and um, I'm very excited. I'm happy with the reception. Lots of people have turned out, and I'm really proud of myself because I've been getting so many compliments, and I'm happy. and I've been painting for a little over eight years. This here is called Interlude. I worked on this um, during the lockdown in 2020 and it's really just about a day in my life, you know, taking a break from working and with my favorite things in the background. Like you can see me holding a bottle of Coke. I drink Coke a lot, it's my favorite soda. So sometimes I like to paint myself or you know, things that represent me and my daily life. So this is something like a self-portrait. It's not a self-portrait, but based on the things that I put in the painting, the things that I consist of, you could call it a self-portrait because I'm kind of referencing myself. MK Arts, uh, it's basically a space, physically or virtually, where artworks like sculptures, paintings, photography, and mixed media are being showcased, presented, and promoted locally and globally. Um, NK Arts creates opportunities for artists who are in search of a space to exhibit their works either by solo exhibition or by group exhibition. Um, technically, we are known as ex exhibition organizers, <laughs> you know. Um, yeah, so NK Arts has brought together 11 talented artists that are really creative in the arts industry. And we brought these artists together to share with us their memories, giving us an insight of what their visions may look like. You know, that was how we came about the title, Shared Memories, New Visions. Our lives revolve around our memories, our experiences and all of that. Right, so if we're not able to share these experiences with people, if we're not able to connect with people with ourselves, I mean, what would, what would the world look like? Or what would the world be like? We brought these artists together to um, use, to share with us their memories and, you know, to give us an insight of what their future may look like, an idea of what, of a new innovations to say, you know, and, I think if we really support African artists, I think it will really go a long way, especially in the Nigerian economy, because the arts actually does have a special role to play in the economy of the country or in the world generally. You know, so we have like 11 artists. Artists come from different backgrounds, different history, different culture, and traditional, you know, backgrounds. So if this artist can all come together and give us you know an insight of what history looks like or what what they feel that their future future may be you know I think it's something that is interesting I think it's something that we all should pay attention to and be aware because at the end of the day Nigeria is so blessed with good creative artists you know and in Africa generally you know and the African art is something that we really need to support recognize and you know, push for everyone to do and everyone to feel what an African art is. The same way we invest in real estate and bitcoins, I think, I mean, people should invest in art too because art is like, it never dies. Art keeps appreciating, you know, every day. So I think, yeah, that's, that's the idea of, you know, the title and the theme of the exhibition. Um, 
So as an artist myself, I can totally relate to you know other artists. I I can I know what it feels like for someone to see my work and appreciate my work as an artist. You know, and that is what I want to do for other artists. I want to give other artists the opportunities to showcase their works globally. And I've been, uh, been an artist for like, well, professionally, I guess, <laughs> for like, uh, I'll say two, three years. But I started, I was, um, I started painting when I was young, obviously, you know, uh, when I was like very young at secondary school. And, you know, ever since then, I didn't really even take art serious then because I was young. I didn't know what art really was then, you know. So as, I, as time went on, I began to realize that, okay, I can actually use this my talent to you know create impacts in the society you know so yeah that's how for, for being an artist to being an art creator to be the founder of MK Arts <laughs> so MK Arts you know is something that we we do consistently you know it's something that we plan to able to do more than once a year because and we promise that we wouldn't be consistent <laughs>